My name, I'm called Stephen Young from Cameroon, Africa. Actually, my quest for knowledge has brought me this far to India to study structural engineering as a career. Back home, I had always wanted to be a good structural engineer. I had always wanted to derive pleasure in what I do. So I had to do some researches after completion of my BTEC. I went through some courses and I do some research online. I came across this fantastic um, uh, program offered in India. Out of a sudden I thought, wow, this might be a milestone for me. And also there was this financial issue to target. So I had so much worries back there. First thinking of how to get a visa to travel down to India. India also thinking of how to survive, how to cope out there. Considering the fact that it was a total different milieu, everything was going to be new for me also. And uh, back home, we always, usually we have that um, uh, idea that um, foreigners, whenever you find yourself in a strange land, obviously there are certain difficulties you are going to face, certain challenges you are going to face. But um, uh, I took it upon myself to pursue my course and my dreams. So I had to put everything, I had to put in everything to ensure that I come here down in India for this course. And it is often said, one will only derive satisfaction if you like doing the things you do. Back at home, I used to be a contractor. Yeah, I used to be a contractor in the civil department. After working for about six, seven, eight years, after I dropped, still I did not get that satisfaction. So I had wanted something big, a big picture of me. That is why I had to come down here in India. I came across this fantastic program, Master Studies in Structural Engineering, offered by eConstruct India. So after doing some researches, some findings, I got admission into this fantastic institution and uh, I prepared everything, the documents, my transport facilities, my visa facilities, wow. And I came down to India also. When I got here, wow. In as much as I had that driving goal to succeed in my career, behold, it wasn't easy. The first few months, I got, we got introduced, we had a first, a first workshop session, basic workshop session with um, our proprietor, Mr. Samdi Pingli. He's a very fantastic man also. He taught us so many things, so many good things, so many good things. And he never keep stop telling us this. We should be aware that the first few three months, you will be like, oh my God, where are we heading to? Full clean board. Some of us at that early age, we do not understand what he was saying. Not he we enter into the course. And uh, after two months, three months, I started asking myself, oh, now I'm seeing, I'm realizing that maybe it was a waste of time I came here for. <sighs> but not knowing that um, uh, the future, as it's often said, the future is blur from where you are standing. After three months, um, uh, we went through a series of analysis, a series of workshops, a series of training by our mentor. And behold, it is what, it is what achieving. I've been here in India for about seven months plus, initially for this course. And it's, it's what achieving. Back there at home, I strongly believe most of my brethren, most of my friends, colleagues, could have wished also to enroll for such a project. It's all about determination. If it's one more thing I can tell them, it's all about determination. Because I had the option to take an online course as well, but I had wanted to explore, I had wanted to see new places also, to learn new cultures. So that is why I had to travel down here in Bangalore, India, to take this course from scratch. And behold, when I got here, before I came here, I was 
a merely site contractor or a site engineer. Still, I did not derive satisfaction in it. So I had wanted a bigger picture, a bigger version of me, so I had to travel down to India. Oh, but now I'm feeling relaxed. I have a sense of satisfaction that after spending six, seven months under the guidance of the e-construct team, which has been very fantastic, now I realize I'm heading towards my dream life I had always wanted to be. That is be a good structural engineer, not only by thoughts, but by practical, having a full set of skills, knowledge, in diverse scopes as far as structural engineering is concerned. And we have one perfect person to give you that in India, that is Mr. Samnisa. Uh, no jokes about it because when I came here I was completely empty, but uh, now at least I'm fine. I'm not only fine, I'm having the sense of being a structural design engineer. Driving back home, I think Living after leaving India after seven months, it was worth coming. After the knowledge I've acquired here in e construct, it was worth coming. So going back home, I'm going back satisfied for what I've achieved so far. I'm going back home satisfied for the contacts I've made here in India. I had to meet some good friends also, some colleagues. In my early days, I used to think maybe there will be that inferiority complex that I'm uh, me being the only dark guy. But before then, I came to realize that so many other dark and black guys from Africa have been here also, and some of which we are still there together. It was a good experience, and I will always keep appreciating. I always keep e construct so dear to my heart, and going back home also. I would struggle to see how I could link a bridge between e-construct and any other young aspiring to be structural engineer back home. Yeah, I try to see how I can put that connection so that they also can have the opportunity to grab the knowledge that has been impacted to me by Mr. Samdi, sir, for my better tomorrow.